Hey folks, how you doing? Captain Mark here, the kid, Kid Coach Chiefs Outdoors. What's today? It's the weekend report, and it's gonna be a short one, all right? Because I got a lot of stuff to do. I got to prep for the Montauk, Montauk series. That's, we're heading out here at three o'clock in the morning tomorrow. What are we doing? We're dragging the Preacher, the Diesel, out east to Montauk, all right? I'm gonna rant on Montauk, trust me. I'm PO'd at them. We'll deal with that later. But, today's episode is gonna be short. We are going offshore, and we're gonna be using, uh, the big boat right there, it's not that big, 30 footer. And we're gonna be running Sterling what? Yes, Sterling, promo. That's right, sterlingtackle.com. Get your stuff, bro. This stuff is no joke, all right? Shout out to my people over at Sterling, Stevie. Who loves you, pal? All right, so now what we got going on? We got a car, just dragging the racing here. Right. That guy's a toolbox. No, he's not a toolbox. He's probably got a cool car. I get it, all right? I got a cool boat. <laughs> all right, uh, so what are we gonna do here? The weekend report for the kid. Mid-Long Island Sound, bluefish running rampant. Porgies, of course. Sea bass. Check out this picture right here. Here's Yukon with uh, Mikey Amoroso. All right, young man Mikey, right? Guys, a model for Under Armour, for God's sake. All right, what were they doing? They were out in the middle ground. Middle grounds is it's basically the Stratford Shoal out there. It's between Connecticut and Long Island, and tons of sea bass out there, right? I was asking Johnny, Johnny, what do you catch them on? Clams? You know, high low clams? He goes, no, no, believe it or not, kid. We're catching them on squid. The majority of those bites were on squid, those big fish. John was catching fish up to 22 inch sea bass, all right? That's a legit sea bass. Probably one of the best fish that we have in the Northeast eating wise, all right? Tile fish, my favorite. Thank you, how you doing? We'll get to that, all right? But uh, that's Johnny right there. Also, I'm gonna give an honorable mention to the South Shore right there. Greg right there, I was, boy, the hockey players. And they were out there. Oh boy, looking over there. Look at my shoulder, I could get whacked right now. They were out there. And they're hooked up in the sand tiger right there. Catch and release right there. Sand tiger, vicious teeth right there. That fish right there can eat an apple through a chain link fence, all right? Bluefish, again, off the charts up on Long Island Sound. They're all over the place. You can hit them on top board. You can drag troll them. You can troll them up. Uh, bunker pods are there. Obviously, work the bunker pods. But uh, also, the fish, the, the bluefish are just everywhere. Striped bass bites a little sketchy right there. As it gets hotter, you know, we lose our striped bass fishery up there. Not a big deal. It always happens. Now, next thing, what we got. This is cool right now. Dave and Bruno. All right, right there. Dave and Bruno on Instagram. Check them out. But they were all short. We're going to hook up with those guys in Montauk. I think we can see those guys tomorrow. On that note, if you guys are going to be out in Montauk, come over and say hello. It's over at the harbor side, right? We're going to have a boat in Westlake. And at the harbor side, we're going to be having a couple of sarsaparillas. So if you're over there, take a walk over and have a sarsaparilla with us. All right? But Dave and Bruno right now. Okay? I'm going inside right now. Dave and Bruno offshore on the tuna. I'm not a freaking tuna guy, obviously. Everybody knows that, all right? But I'm going to be one, all right? With the help of Sterling Tackle, that is. Mommy. Everglades, Island Yachts, the whole nine yachts. All these people support the kid. But, and we're going to kill them, trust me. We're going to whack fish this weekend. I'm, po I'm not positive. I mean, that's a stupid thing to say when it comes to fishing. But I'm pretty damn confident that we're going to. But Dave was out there offshore. Not sure if, I think he was canyon bound. But caught a bunch of, I think, and again, I'm not a tuna fisher. But I think these are long fin tuna. All right? They got freaking long fins on them. So I have to assume that those are long fin. Check out this footage right here. They hook up into a freaking monster blue marlin. He estimated over 800 pounds. This thing was going bananas, all right? So here's some cool footage right there. Let's take a peek at it. Draw up, draw up, draw up. Draw up, quick, 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 quick. Mm-hmm. All right, needless to say, I'd have a cardiac arrest right there if that thing was on my boat. I'd be screaming like a little girl at the uh, Girl Scout meeting. It makes no sense. All right, so now what we got here? We're gonna go to my boy, always on time, with his reports. Love this guy. Captain Larry Gonzalez over at Larry Fishing Charters. Larry, what do you got, kid? Thanks, Mark. Hey, guys. How's it going? My name is Captain Larry Gonzalez from Larry's Fishing Charters. We're out of Greenwich, Connecticut, and just want to give you a quick report on the Western Long Island Sound. Guys, we weren't on the water much this week. I took some time off, but the few days that we were on the water, the blue fishing was hot. We were attaching them on the troll and on the chunk. On the troll, we were using surgical tubes, trolling anywhere from like 3.5 to about 4.7 knots. Uh, two to 300 feet of wire back. And on the chunk, we were catching them at night once the sun went down, we started chumming heavy, turn on all our lights and bring all the bait fish towards the boat. Behind the bait fish, you're gonna find the bluefish coming right behind them. Um, use small chunks 
and then 20 to 30 pulls off your reel. Lock it up and hold on to the rod. If they're there, almost immediately you should get hit. Um, sometimes it might take a little longer, but just keep on chumming. They'll find the boat. Straight bass definitely slowed down considerably from two weeks ago and last week. Um, there's still some around, but just not as many and they're spread out. You have to put your time in now to try to get a few bass and get rewarded. Um, they're not gonna be everywhere. But the good news is that there's still a few around. We're coming up to the full moon, which is this Saturday. Expect fishing to still be good for the next four or five days. Um, and you know, just get out there, get out there and put your time in. Uh, but that's my report for this week, guys. I'm sorry, it's a little short, but that's all I got. I'll have a much better report next week. Back to you, Mark. Thank you very much. All right, thanks, pal. All right, now we're going over to Montauk over there. Captain Marco Di Stefano on the Christina Maria Quesadilla. Way too many freaking letters in that freaking name. All right, the Instagram, you gotta buy a valve to get the damn thing in your freaking Instagram feed. All right, kidcochise at gmail.com. Kidcochise, outdoors, simple stuff. Larry's Fishing Charles, Christina Maria, Quesadilla, Melamucha, Monto Fishing. It's like a lot of stuff going on there. My right arm's killing me, all right? The guns are never on. just coming back. I go vault. All right, so here we go. Let's go over to Marco right now, and we're going to see what he has to say over in Monto. We're looking forward to going out there and fishing this week. Hey, do ladies. Marco. Good morning, kid. Captain Marco. How's everything going? Christina Maria, Montauk. Uh, yes, look at this archive photo here. You got the Misty Dawn shirt. Yeah, there's some good fishing back then. Um, there's still good fish around, but uh, this was a classic day uh, for Andrew and, and the gang. And you were out there as well, which was great. And uh, it was nice having you out there with us. Um, let's talk about what's going on today. Very big week of fluking in Montauk. The bass bite is kind of, you know, I don't want to say trickled away or, or died out. There's fish around. You got to work for them. Um, a lot of these guys trolling and getting them live baits. They're getting a little funny now this time of year. Um, Captain Tom had a great day here. Um, you know, live baits, uh, he did real well of the Grand Slam. Um, for me, fishing was very good. Um, one day was uh, a good pick all day. Uh, Mitch and the gang here, uh, we had 11 fish, uh, to about six pounds, limited sea bass. Sea bass fishing is very good, especially on the jig. You have to work for it. You got to play with the tides. Once you figure out what tide they're, they're chewing better on, look for that structure. Once you get on that structure, look for bait. See if the bait's on that structure. When you get that bait, those fish are there. They're going to chew. If you get one or two, stay on it, work it. Wait for the tide to uh, get perfect, and you're going to have a good bite. This uh, this last trip here with Jimmy, uh, Dave, and Severio was a very, very good trip. It took a little while for them to get biting, but once they did, it was lock and load. It was amazing. Again, limited sea bass. Sea bass fishing has been excellent. You can get them on the jig. You don't even need to use clam this time of year. It's, it's phenomenal. Um, as far as tuna, I know there's still some tuna around. Got to work for them. Um, you know, you'll get them. Rumor has it there was a 15-pound fluke caught in Montauk this week. Yes, 15 pounds. Congrats on the uh, angler for that. Um, very, very nice fish, uh, James Milano. Um, as far as, uh, you know, porgies, they're still around. Obviously, you can get them just about anywhere. So uh, tip, tip of the day, tip of the week. Um, this now it seems to be that these fluke are getting real dependent on uh, stages of the tide. So when you're out there, pay attention. Keep a log. Um, you know, do what you can to uh, document your uh, information and uh, get on them, all right? Get bent, stay safe. I'll see you next week. Enjoy the week. All right, folks, there you go. There's Marco right there. How you doing? No reports next week. It's getting crazy. It's, it's a lot of work for me to get these things going with the other ones. I'm trying to get the other videos, the regular series, the tuna series, and all the other fishing going on. So we're going to hold off on reports. We may have a couple different captains in the next couple of meetings. All right, I know you guys like the reports. I get so much positive feedback with the reports. Well, thank you guys for watching Kiko Cheese Outdoors. So yeah, this is a quick report. I get it, all right? But I got to get ready for Montauk. There's a lot of stuff that's involved with getting the whole crew together to get these fish, all right? We're on a mission. We're on a mission from God, all right? So God bless you cats out there. God bless America. And that's that for right now. All right, I'm not going to rant on this one. Although I do want to rant. Uh, let me just give one toolbox of the year award. Right there. That's the toolbox of the year award. What a freaking disaster for America to have this jack job represent us. But what do you expect, right? But somebody told me, like, one of my things... Play stupid games, get stupid prizes. Oh, there you go. How you doing, ladies? Kick or cheese outdoors. Till next time. Thanks for watching. Who loves you?